What's going on everyone? This is Alex USA Days. Uh, so today we're going to do a little experiment. Uh, we will create an automation uh, for login page. One automation we'll be creating with ChatGPT. Uh, so just by the eye asking to uh, create code for us. And uh, the auto automation for the same login page we're going to do with Cypress recording. Uh, tool right okay so let's do that uh so in order to start you will need visual studio code uh and you will need an npm installed um first step we're gonna initialize project so npm init dash y okay project initialized and second step we want to do npm install cypress and if you want to do, you can do save dash dev, right? So the Cypress is going to uh, download and install for the project. It should appear right here once uh, the installation is complete. And here's our dev dependency. Cypress has been added. Perfect. That looks good. Uh, now we can do npx open cypress so we when we're going to open it for the first time it will ask us to do some configurations which is going to okay everything say we uh so npx cypress and then open not open cypress so pay attention npx cypress open right uh all right so choose which one it's our first time so nothing's configured we will do end to end testing Click on it. And we can just continue with all of those files. Just fine. Let, let it create the config and everything. You will see them showing up. Uh, start end to end with Chrome. Okay. All right. We have uh, the Cypress window open. We can start actually adding uh, examples or create new spec. Uh, either way, it's fine. But uh, one thing that we want to do in Cypress config over here, uh, we want to add capability um, for recording. So let's do that. Uh, on a new line here, we will do experimental studio, set this to true, and uh, save it. Okay. NPX. Uh, can now open Cypress again. NPX, Cypress, open. So first, let's actually record a test. Okay, start with Chrome. So we'll do create new spec. Um, let's do recording, login, recording dot ci dot gs create um so it's asking to have like a the basic uh template spec we can say run the spec this is fine so it's just gonna go and visit cypress documentation page so here though uh if you go to the name of the spec template spec there's this little button add new test now you can do that uh with the recorder so click on it, ask you where we're going to go, what we want to visit. Uh, so we're going to grab the internet here, app.com login, paste this here, continue. All right, so it's actually recording test. So for the username, we will grab Tom Smith. Uh, records all, does it record all the clicks? Yeah, we don't really need the clicks and stuff, so we can delete those. We want to visit, uh, then paste this here. Copy password, paste this here. Click login button. And the last thing we want to do is add assertion. So right click it, have text, you're logged in into secure area. So assertion is added. So actually verify that we were logged in and save the commands. Uh, test name. Uh, so log in with recorder, right? Save it. 
Okay, perfect. Uh, so we have the templates back right here. There's one test, there's two. We can delete the, the test that was template. So let's go to Cypress, end to end, login record in CI.js. So this template, we can create, uh, we can delete this. Uh, and here's our test that was created by the recording. So it goes, visits the page, uh, clears username field, and then types in name. There's some click. Uh, we got this one by accident. We don't really need to click here. And then same with password, clears it, and then fills out with text, clears, then clicks on the button to log in, and then verifies the text. Uh, one thing you can see, though, with the login, it just grabs by class, the button itself. Probably would have wanted to see the button here. And with verification, it, it grabbed the whole thing for the text. So half text, like should have a matching text with all the spaces, all the new lines. So this is a little bit fragile right here. Okay, but this is our recorder. Uh, and you can start creating test cases with, with a recorder and then update them and edit them and uh, make them more solid, right? So this is actually fine. Now let's go and do the same thing with chat GPT. All right, so what we're gonna say here, create login test uh, with Cypress for, uh, and grab our page for this page. Enter. Okay. What's going on? Hmm. So it looks like it's handy. So maybe let's refresh the page. I'm going to copy this, uh, refresh. Looks like Chad GPT might be down. Let's see. I'm going to close this, open up, uh, open up new chat window, create login test with Cypress four. Okay. Let's see if that's going to help. Here we go. All right. So it's actually giving you some instructions. So on how to install it. So follow the steps. It says install Cypress, uh, ask you to run it through the module. So instead of npx in the Cypress test run, create the new test file, new test in the test file, import Cypress object from Cypress by adding this line import Cypress from Cypress. Now you can add the CI object to navigate. Uh, to check login successful. Okay, so it gave two snippets. There are actually no, it, it does the visit, but there's no actual uh, boilerplate for the test itself. So there's no describe, there's no it. Uh, let's do maybe verify. Okay, verify, uh, log in with Cypress for, maybe that's gonna be a little bit more specific for the page. Please add describe, describe, and it. So I want to, I want to have code that I can just uh, copy and paste. Okay, here we go. Now it's a little bit better. So we have describe and we have it login test should log into the secure area. Gave a proper name. Uh, visit page find username type tom smith find password type super pass so they actually grabbing instructions from the page grabbing the username the password found the button submit type submit clicks include secure verifies the url and then verifies the message so let's copy this copy um and let's create new file login 
let's do chat gpt dot js dot uh, dot js paste this save it all right so what we got at the end here right so this is with the recording uh, recording does need some editing this is with chat gpt so you saw that chat gpt did not have describe did not have it uh and did not include verification until we actually specify that we want the page to be verified and we won't describe it to it to be included otherwise you would have to do a little bit more uh, editing here so let's try and actually run it let's go back to the specs so here's our chat gpt all right no commands were issued um probably we want to restart this okay let's see let's see now okay visiting logging in asserted looks good so both uh chat gpt and our recording pretty solid right which is insane so you can just go ahead and automate your test uh with chat gpt and it's going to create a test case for you obviously there are some edits needed uh maybe it works with some tools better than others so cypress probably is better than maybe i don't know test cafe or some other code or maybe more complex pages right but the fact that you can just ask for a snippet for automation it creates for you it's pretty insane um what can we change improve on other sites so this probably needs a better locator for the button right uh this definitely needs better assertion here it did grab flash id for the text where it's very fine so i think the one thing we could do to improve the code at least for uh chat gpt side here so go ahead let's log in whatever doesn't matter okay let's take a look at the message so the id is flash right so we know it's only one flash and we can confirm this here let's do flash all right so just this please all right so maybe we can do ci get as well uh get and then add this id here and then contains so more robust for the selector button type submit this is fine there's no specific text i think uh maybe we could use no specific id for yeah so id here is well fa sign in maybe but that's by class type submit yeah button um yeah i don't know maybe we could add the class and confirm by the class. There's no ID, so we could use this class instead of the button type submit. There could be multiple uh, buttons on the page, but in our case, just only one. So I think it works fine. This, this way looks good as well. And definitely better than just by class fa yeah so this assertion definitely need to be have some work this selector needs some work but in general i mean it's pretty awesome that you can just in two minutes you can start writing automation install cypress either use a recorder or with chat gpt uh i think it's uh, opens a lot of opportunities uh for faster automation all right, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, hit like, subscribe if you did.
leave a comment. This was Alex USA Days. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.